Yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy Xander back with another Xandaily, and today, playing more Wild Frost. Add junk to your hand every five. Gain plus one when an ally is killed. That's it. Wow, that can kind of go crazy. And then Pika Nut, who's just got friends. Honestly, I've been trying gnomes a lot. My last two videos were probably gnomes. Let's try and go with Snow Build. Although not exactly a Snow Build, I'm going to take Sneasley. my favorite. Boom, easy. All right, we got a 45 gold start. Obviously, we're going to go top path. It just has the best potential, I think. Og Charm. Save it for later. Although Sneasel could use extra HP and be funny. Yuki, Lil Berry. When healed, gain plus two. We don't have a healing start right now. But that could be fun. I don't need to go Yuki. Mm-hmm. Mm oh. I could just take Snoffle here. Let's go. Because I don't really have a way to deal a lot of damage. Eco Nut goes here. First thing I'm going to do is Snow Stick, yeah? Bring in Snoffle. Bring in Sneasel. And then... Sunrod here, so you just get a kill. I'm gonna lower your damage. So you're gonna hit me. I'm gonna gen a card. And then... Nice. Let's put a little berry up here. So Snowbird hits in the back. That's his most annoying feature. I think making Pico Nut just get rid of a unit is strong right here. Snowbird snowing something is not a bad thing. IMO. I don't mind getting a kill here. We get to snow some enemies. Now I'll hit the snowbird. Fairy Witch could be a problem for me. But let's, uh, or not Berry Witch, uh, Queen Glob. But not that big of a problem. I'm gonna make Sneasel get a kill here. I'm gonna put this out here. Now Snoffle can go off next. I'm a Snow Stick, yeah. Stick you with one of those, Snoffle goes off. And then I'm going to Sunrod here. So you're just going to go for a big hit and another big hit. Sneasel's ready for the kill. And we get the kill. Queen Globberry's attacking. That's what I would say if I was a liar. Let's get a reroll. And then let's hit you again. And then you get hit again. Cool. I get a kill. Easy. It's bullying. It's actually bullying. I love this squad. Um, I don't have enough money to really use this Wooly Snail. Unfortunately, my money luck was really bad. And my I wasn't comboing, which I can, but I didn't. That sucks. I think maybe I'm going to go bot lane anyway. Well, I don't get enough money for a crown, so I'm just going for a potential treasure. Chompom? Jumbo. I didn't know Jumbo was a generalist unit. He looks like such a gnome. And Fire Fist, who I don't appreciate. I have a lot of random units and no starters. You're not going to be useful for very long, so we're going to keep you out of here. We have, like, no starter units right now. If I get Gain Nut on kill for Chomp Bomb, that goes a little different. Nope, instead I get the Battle Charm. Which I can put on Pico Nut. We're gonna just try to make Pico Nut better. And. Hog Headed Charm. 
I don't feel like I'm gonna have trouble coming in to this upcoming fight. Noomlin Biscuit's nice. Ice Dice is nice. Berry Basket could actually make my dude do a little bit better. Grabber's always good. But I feel like Snow Guys have a good way already of dealing with enemies. And that's just by hitting them with something heavy. Of course, I don't have any heavy hitters. Let's go... Barrel Basket... Carol's Basket. Oh, and then I still get to have a uh, Yanker. Nice. Yeah, I'll just do that. And I'll get out of there. I don't have any synergy right now. That's my biggest problem. Let's get Pico Nut in here. Because you're dealing 10 when you come out. Let's get Sneasel in. So we can potentially get some great card draw. No, instead we get a Scrappy Sword. I don't want your turn to come up ever. Like, practically. I want to hit Bamboozle. And then we want to just wait on Bamboozle. I'll put Woodhead out here. Do this, so Bamboozle is a bit close to popping, and we're going to pop it. Sneasel's draws have been pretty bad. My priority right now has to be getting Boozle out of here. Let's get Lil Berry in, because Lil Berry can tank. And Sneasel can take this aimless hit. And I can put a Flame Water on Pico Nut to try and kill Boozle. Sneasel's gonna get the kill there, but I kinda don't want him to yet. Instead, I wanna get Snuffle out here. Cool. Because I can kill Boozle this turn. So he's taking three. Well, why don't I berry basket my whole damn team then? You're gonna hit for six coming up. That's the thing I want to avoid the most, so I kind of want to try to kill you. Let me sunrod here. So we stop everybody for a turn. You're still attacking for eight, so I'm gonna freeze you. But I'll put Sneasel out here. So we're going to hit Bam soon. Cool. You kill. You kill. Then you're going to hit for six twice. That's so annoying. And you're hitting for a big hit as well. But you can just kill. We can stop this madness. Stop the violence. Stop the madness. Just kill right away. And it's so bad for money. It's so bad for money. Sunbell of Fellowship. Uh, I don't need more companion types because I don't have enough companions to synergize anyway. This can make my deck ultra thin and I don't have anything I really want to do. I have no money. Oh, get rid of the scrappy sword. Get rid of the other scrappy sword. Firewater at least has some value because I can put it on my main unit. There we go. Tiny Tycho. I didn't know Tiny Tycho was a generalist unit. When hit, gain a frenzy. But you only have 2 HP. Booty's fine, but Shelly I think is just like a good support unit. And now we have a build around. Because we can put Chompom up there instead of Sneasel. And then we can have Chomp Han, Shelly, Lil Berry. But Lil Berry doesn't really work, so let's get Snuffle. Go to the Wooly Snail, just so I can look at all the things I can't afford and leave. 
thought I could afford this. I have no crowns, though. It's so bad. Take a shell shield. This is really struggling on econ. Going into the caves. Let's get Snuffle out there. And then I think I'm just going to reroll right away. Do it like this. Because I want to get the People's Champ out there. Oh no, your attack's going to be reduced. But that actually doesn't matter. Do it like that. Use the Yanker to hit ya. For a little extra damage. And then I'm going to freeze ya. You're going to attack for one. I don't mind it. Makoko's attacking for zero. Actually, we have a really funny thing, because we can just kill Grog like this. Let me reroll. Because I can then freeze the whole damn squad while my counters count down. The People's Champ um, really needs more. And the only way to get more is by killing an enemy, right? We also need to get through Makoko, though. You're going to deal at best four damage. Or three damage. Right now. Let's get you buffed. No targets. Neat. Because we, we'll try to kill with Chomp Bomb and then get crazy up here. You're attacking for three total. I can take the hit and then heal it right away. But I think I'd rather freeze you. And then... Freeze you again. And then Pico Nut's just gonna get... a combo. It doesn't quite kill. King Mako is in. Chomp Hom... Barely doesn't get a kill on the Pepper Witch. But, he can't. Now he gets a kill. On the Pepper Witch. Which is good. Then Shelly can kill this Makoko. The counters are counting. And we are upset about King Makoko. Who will hit five times. For which there is little recourse. But Champom is finally at a position to be able to do something about something. Almost. Not take five hits from Makoko, though. For King Moko. The Berry Witch doesn't need to be the next to go. It needs to be Mako. Makoko. Actually, Pico Nut kind of likes being able to hit. We just don't hit King Mako next. I'm going to yoink you. I'm going to freeze you so you don't scale. Because I don't mind taking one damage hits from these. I mind that. Why do you. Oh, I'm so annoyed now. Chompom gets a kill here, which is good. I'm annoyed by Snoffle's death. John Palm's gonna get a kill. Nice, so he's scaling. Then Pico Nut and Shelly are gonna get a kill. But let's make Shelly do this hit so that Pico Nut just barely doesn't get a hit on King Makoko. No, actually, we don't care. We want to stun lock King Makoko anyway. Let's put you up there. You'll take the hit from Pepper, which that's fine. Then the People's Champom is out here. Bing!
And then a Sunrod. So we get a hit again. And I ring the bell. And... You're hitting for 13. Well, then I freeze it. Oh no, you're hitting for 16 now. Yoink, yeah. Didn't even kill. Well, who cares? I snow stick you anyway. Nice, dude. Little combo. We get a little money back, but we're kind of hurting. Economically speaking. We still don't have a great team. So I think treasure and we go bottom path. Mimic's not crazy. Shroominator, when everything, anything is mushroom, double the amount and lose a scrap. Bad. When an ally is healed, apply equal spice. Bad. Because we're not healing. Well, we're healing a little bit. Mimic. Let's go Mimic for the moment. Charm, charm, battle. Muncher. How many swords we got? We only got one. So we'd get rid of this and a flame water, I think. And we get a potentially useless unit. This team is fine. We actually don't need another. Let's go ahead and get these charms out here. Lumen Ring boosts effects by one. Apply two snow to all enemies. Seems insane now. Flame Water. Sunrod being a three count. Seems fun. I think Shelly giving more armor could be good, but isn't insane or essential. Really, I want I want Snaffle to freeze things better. Now F Snaffle freezes things better, that's nice. Charm. If we get a Sun Charm, then Snaffle goes insane. Effectively stun locks enemies. And then we're gonna hog headed shampoo. Pico nut, get in there. Snaffle, get in there. Our biggest goal right now is to kill the Bigfoot. So how are we going to do that? Like this, right? We're going to freeze everything. Bring Shelly out. Bring Woodhead out. And I mean, we're going to kill Bigfoot. It doesn't even matter. Having Shelly get a kill here is kind of funny. And I think I want to do it. Because I can always freeze the Wooly Drek. No, no, but you go first. So you're just going to deal seven to a random unit here. Oh, that's annoying. And I can't stop you. So I, I just might as well kill you. Then. Yeah, I might as well kill you with the Yank. Keeping Pawpaw in the back is fine. I want to keep my shell shield in heat. No, I don't. Because I'm just going to redraw. So then, let's give Kiko Nut some shell. Oh, he killed his Gromble. Cool. And I give you a boost. I freeze this Bigfoot forever. I should have put the Mimic here. But you're killing anyway. And now you have enough Nut to actually do stuff. Let's put the Mimic here. Snaffle's just going to go crazy on this row. So that's fine. We can finally get Chompom in there. Put the Shell Shield on Chompom. The People's Champom.
who already deals seven. I'll use Mimic as kind of like a barrage bait here in a second. What we want to do... Where did you get Nut? Oh. <laughs> Shelly gave you Nut. Hilarious. Let's freeze you because you're going to die. Only barely, though. Well, that means you trigger an attack the next Bigfoot who we want to kill. Or, alternatively, I Sunrod you. So you get a kill there, and then Shelly gets to attack. And we almost have killed here. And I'll use Champom to kill this one HP unit. I know, very efficient. And we're going to try to scale Champom. Wooly Drex attacking for six? No, you're not. Stop. This is just for a little bit of scaling. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with a Yanker. No, I'm not. That's a stupid idea. Put Shelly out here. Then I want to hit... There's no one I want to yank. Really. I guess we could yank Big Lou. It's a little extra damage. Let's just yank Wooly Drek. Even though it's one damage. So we can delay the inevitable by one turn. And then Shelly hits for one. The most hilarious thing ever. Then we let Mimic... No, we bring Shelly back. We let Mimic take... No, because of fucking Drek. Alright, well, stop the Drek. Let Big Lou do that. My unit's gonna take some nut damage. But that's fine. Because now we can scale Chomp Hom to take that hit. Freeze ya. Give me that free money. Let's get a reroll. My team doesn't need a healing right now. I'll put Shelly out here, and then I can Sunrod Snaffle again to keep things stalled. This is giving me extra turns, which is nice. And let me stop you right there. You can take a 5 damage hit. Actually, anyone can take a 5 damage hit. You're about to give out free damage. So let's give you more. And we're just going to hit you a bunch. We're about to get so much money. Everything's frozen. I get a, a free roll here. Let me use the Noomlin Yanker to hit you again. Put you up in the front, give you a shell shield. And then Shelly. You got to get out of that row. Freeze you again. I should put Snaffle behind Shelly, because Shelly's like my least valuable unit that I want to keep alive. Now's when I think I heal my team up to full. Do this. So my guy goes crazy. But we do it like this so that Shelly gets one more hit. Hit the redraw. 
Because even though that one scrappy sword could be helpful, it isn't yet. Do this to get a little more money. Do this to get a little more money. Boom. Bing. Bang. Then Snoffle's gonna trigger. The People's Champom can take this hit. And he's gonna get one more damage and he loses, which I think is hilarious. I can make Snoffle get frozen quicker, but it's gonna have diminishing returns here in a second. I freeze ya. I hit ya. I re-roll. I hit you with the Noomlin Yank for one. I freeze ya. I put the Shell Shield on the People's Champom. We get another freeze, and we get a kill. Nice! Combo, dude. Snoffles recovered. Very good. I don't have a reason to go to the Muncher. And I'm really happy to have this blink. Because we can finally get a crown for one of our units. Let's get a charm. Shroom charm. Apply one shroom. I'm going to put it on my leader. Because my leader... Applies a shroom now on a hit, which is a nice little bonus. Let's not even look at anything else yet. Just get the charm, put it on the people's champ. Now put it on Snoffle so he gets out there quicker. Yeah, we want to get you out there quicker. Hongo's hammer, frost bell, just lowering attack by two is not great. Dragon pepper. No. This is such a no shop. Scrap charm. Add one scrap. So I can put this on the mimic. So now the mimic is more mimic. It's a more mimic. Not a mega mimic. Just a more mimic. Plunker. Or crunker, rather. Eco nut. Snoffle. I can always withdraw snoffle. Let's make Snoffle freeze everything. First. Snow stick, yeah. We just gotta chew through this wall here as well. Crunker is not my biggest priority currently. Ironically, I think I'm gonna put Chompom out here in the back. Because I can shell shield you. And Pico Nut isn't quite getting through. We got to get through here. Luckily for me, this is a spike wall row, so I don't need to interface with this mechanic. I can hit you, and it's free. You're going to not quite kill anything, but that's fine. We keep you frozen. As a matter of fact, keeping you frozen is so important that I'm going to re-roll with this hand. I'll let the People's Champom take this hit. Use my free Noomlin. And I'm going to let you... You don't kill. But you can kill. I'm not your dad. I knew your dad. Kill him. Stack up the freeze on Krunker. You kill, and then you're going to hit Krunker twice and add poison. Let's actually put Snoffle over here and add Mimic so that we chew through even faster. Nice! And then we immediately just place poison on Krunker too. Oh, that's annoying. Because now the Ice Forge is in on the turn. Oh. But you only deal six now. 
Oh, well, cool. Then I'm going to beat up the Ice Forge and try to hit through Spuncher. I'm happy that you're hitting one of the walls. Yeah, like this. Oh no, some of my units took three damage. That's fucked up! How dare you? How dare you? You're a bastard right now. Alright, champ. Get in there. Keep everyone frozen for a second. I'm gonna reroll on this. Do it like this so that I can start applying poison. And I'll have to redraw you. Or recall you, rather. I don't want anybody to. S oh, you're hog headed. That's fine. Let's bring back Snoffle. And actually, let's bring back the Mimic as well. And then I'll just put a shell shield on you so you can take that hit a little better. <laughs> we got the Grink here, who's about to get killed. Oh, I can just, I can actually make it a guaranteed kill too. Do that, re-roll, and then I guess I can buff Pico Nut. You're getting beat up. Put it out like this. Hit you with the scrappy sword. You're gonna get hit for 12 with two poison. Add it on top. And you're dealing three? Hmm. No, you're not. You're dead. Nice! Conquer fight. Proving that less is more sometimes. Let's, uh, let's take... Okay, let's look. Little Barry and Sneasel. I'm not really trying to append this anymore. If anything, I just want Small Shield to happen faster. Let's get Sunbell. And then maybe we'll get a nut cake from the next shop. But I want to get crowns because I'm behind on the crown game a little bit. Eco nut and snuffle. Very good. Chomp palms out here. Shelly's out here. You're frozen now. So you don't get a smack back from this th incredible three damage hit. I should have been using these guys to scale. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. I'm not your dad. All right, Snuffles in. Shelly, I don't want you to kill anything. So instead, we want to stun lock this guy. Can I get a Sunrot so I can let Chompom? Yeah, I can. So I can let Chompom kill a hog and get a little bit of bonus. And then Pico Nut's gonna kill the hog. Fair. Oh my god. Please stop. <laughs> Cease! Cease! <laughs> Shit. Um, let's do it like this. I 
I think I want Chompom to beat this. Chompom plus Shelly gets a kill here. Especially if I do it like this, so Chompom actually gets this kill faster. Do it like that. Freeze, yeah. Oh, here comes in eight more damage. Let's see if I can stop it anyway. I can with the Sunrod. I can also just yank ya and turn... Oh, you're only d hitting twice. Okay, cool. Well then, let's just make Chompom stronger. Don't need to put the Mimic out there. Let's get Pico Nut and Chompom to deal with the Warthog. I'll kill you so that you're out of the ramp, the, the lair. Freeze ya. Good. Good. Chompom gets a kill. Shelly gets a kill. We got a four combo there. Razor is in though. Cool. Well, stop. The entire squad is stopped. Just in time. I'm gonna put Chompom in front now because I don't want Pico not getting fucked up when I can avoid it. Let's do it like that. I think my best bet is to snow stick. You. Because then I freeze everything. I want the people's champ bomb in front. I want to snow stick you. Because the rest of you don't matter unless. Unless you're in front of this warthog. And I want Chompom to kill the Warthog. And also take this hit. Pico Nut's gonna add a little extra, so let's make Pico Nut a little strong. Because he doesn't have smack back, he's just a big guy. Let's make Woodhead take this hit. Oh wait, uh, Pico Nut's in a little trouble. I have to pay attention. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm gonna heal here. Even though it helps all of one unit. No one's in heal range. I'm turning four into six by killing literally anything. Make them stop, please. Thank you. Make him stop. Chompom's gonna get a hit. Oh, but Shelly, why did you go and kill somebody? Put Snoffle up here. Pico Nut's gonna hit for 12. Well, then I wanna kinda like spread the love a little bit, you know? Snow stick you. Pico Nut, do that, do that, freeze. Oh, a goblin! <laughs> well, now I kinda wanna hit the goblin and bring the mimic too. And then I want it to count down so that. Chompom kills, and then the hogs get killed as well. So let's just watch these counters real quick. Just give Chompom a little extra. Refresh. Sn Use my grabber to hit the goblin. Snow stick ya. Boom. Bing, money. Chompom kills. Sure, we don't get the hogs in the back for their little extra money, but we got more money probably out of the goblin. Getting hit five times. Or hit for five damage, rather.
Top path. Every time top path. Shellbow, apply five barrage, hits for two. Well, little bro is on the damn team. Equip the crown, put it on the people's chomp -hom. I don't have enough to get Shelly out there. And then I get one of these, add it to the damn squad, restore two HP on kill. Cool, I'll put it on Pico Nut so that Pico Nut can get some health back. Pico Nut's got all the charms. And then, I don't know, Sunlight Drum? Oh yeah, I went top path. Hi there. Take the scrappy sword. Thank you. It's good for nothing. And take the flame water. Thank you. Now my deck is so incredibly thin. It's like the same size as it started almost. Which is incredible. Okay, we gotta use Chompom to kill Vexe. Pico Nut. Its job is to get through Blunky. Do this. Everybody gets some nutted. Blunky's hitting for five into block, probably. He. No, he's not. He's getting frozen because he's not here. Demona is attacking now. Put Snoffle here. Bring in Woodhead to take this hit from Demona. The people's Chompom is out here. And then I want to put a shell shield on the Chomp. We don't... Yeah, we bring Mimic because we're trying to hit Blunky a bunch. Boom. Blunk this. Trying to block that. Refresh. It's a five damage hit, so I don't really mind it. Do it like... This and this. And then Shelbo applies a big heckin' barrage here. For five. Gives us five, or gives you three. Cool. Now Chompom's job is to deal with Vexe when Vexe's frozen. You also need to get drag out of here. So actually, our job is to get rid of drag. Then, put Shelly on the team. Get all of our counters counting down. So Champom gets a big hit here. You freeze everybody. And then you hit for five and five again. So you'd exactly kill drag. But I want you to start dealing with this row, because Champom's job is to deal with the row there. And gain nut. Get fully nutted. Gains a bit of nut. We get a kill. Mimic gets a kill. Demona gets a kill. Or gets killed. Doesn't really. Uh, you don't need to be hit. That's all, cha all on Champom's timer. Uh, let me hit you with the yank for and let me hit you with a yank for an extra one damage. It could matter. Then my entire goal could be to just have Champom be here, Shelly be here, Mimic be here. Champom gets giga boosted on kills. Let's sunrod you. So you get a kill there. You deal a little extra damage. Oh no, now Mimic takes double. Shelly comes in here. And then let me just hit that Ice Forge so that we stop giving damage to my enemies.
and losing damage. And so then you're going to gain a little bit of extra. Let's get you out of that, that lane. Let's buff this, this whole team here. Now Champom's going to get a kill on Grizzle. So let me refresh. Let me apply the shield to Champom. Let me apply the Shellbow to the whole damn squad. That killed Shelby? Oh, that sucks. Hit. Oh, you hit back. You'll take four teeth. I'm gonna yoink ya. And then I'm gonna sunlight drum the squad. So Pico Nut does get hit, but then Champom also gets hit. But we're almost through him. We're almost through Vexay. Actually, Vexay probably could, ironically, get Shellbowed to death here in a second. I killed you with Shellbow. How do you feel? Probably not too great, right? Cool. All the counters are coming down. That's fine. Snaffle. I'm kind of tank now. I think Champom attacking is important. Let's do it like this, though. That way we can kill the row, basically. Cool. All right, my Mimic's frozen. Oh, no. And then Uba Bear's attacking for four. Which I can negate this way. Which is cool. Mimic attacks when I attack. Uba Bear is not my main priority. My main priority is yanking enemies out from behind the Frost Guardian. Get, it, get up here. I get hit my team for two and add slightly more nut. Let's do that. Champom's cool with taking six. But you know who's cool with taking zero? My whole damn squad. Come on, Snoffle. Stop that. And then Champom kills here. You're losing even more health. And then you are going to kill Uba Bear. Let's make you able to tank another hit. Nice. I think we can win. Snoffle gets next action. Let's reroll here so we can yank Gronk to the front. Or Grink? Yeah, Grink. Yank Grink to the front. Shell shield Champom. Freeze the enemy. Stop. Do it like this so I can Sunrod. Bing bam. Snoffle comes in. Then I, I'm going to Snow Stick you. Refresh. Sunrod. So you're stopped. Snow Stick, so you're stopped. Hit ya. That's going to hurt. Hit this row with the keg so Snoffle gets the freeze. Snow stick ya! And that is another win! Let's go! Finally, we beat the thorny menace at the end. 
I've had several runs actually lose there, I think. Two? It's not several. That's a couple? Oh, but now we've got a new menace in town. Pico Nut, who I'm not worried about. Applying poison, restoring health on kill doesn't matter. You're kind of just a, a nutty fella. On your own. We've done it. We've done it! Let's go! Well, hey, that was kind of uh, that was kind of an interesting run to win. At first there, I thought we were going to have like no run identity, but somehow I managed to make it work. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I do deeply appreciate it. And I will see you next daily.